Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Has the Lord been good to you? Amen. Uh, Rachel, can you help me here? Can you sing uh, a million things? Amen. Hallelujah. God is faithful. This is a brand new year. Hallelujah. The first of January. The first of 2023. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here. Yes. Hallelujah. With a heart of gratitude to God. A million times to never.
the Lord to speak to you this morning? Can you tell the Lord to speak to you this morning? Let the Holy Spirit have his way in your life. Open up your heart this morning to the Lord. Can you pray? Say, Lord, speak to me. There is a word for me. It says in the word of God, the Lord sent a word unto Jacob and enlightened Israel. There is a word that the Lord has prepared for you today that will change you and change your household and your generation. So this morning, with a heart of gratitude, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise and the glory this morning. We worship you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is no one like you not to be equal unto you. Father, we have gathered in your tabernacle this morning. Lord, I kneel before your altar this morning. And I say, Lord, speak to us. Speak to us this morning, oh God. Lord, I yield to you, oh God. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Let your presence and your glory be fillable this morning. That as we go, Lord, oh, Father, we will go with your word. We will go with bonus. We will go and we will present ourselves that we have met the Lord in the name of Jesus. Have your way this morning. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are we happy this morning? You know, when I stand up here, I want, you know, <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want it loud. We are in the house of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You are all welcome this morning to Imani family. We welcome also the online worshipers. Happy New Year, everyone, once again. Amen. Can we go to our neighbor once again and say Happy New Year? Can we get up from our seat? Can we stand up from our seat from this side to this side? Yes, yes. Yes, hallelujah. Happy New Year. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Make them feel loved and welcome. This is 2023. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the smile on your faces. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come to the house of God, you come with joy. With thanksgiving. With a grateful heart. That's how you draw from the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. First, I give God all the glory for today. I don't take it lightly for standing before us. I want to thank uh, Pastor Joshua and uh, Pastor Margaret and the leaders of Imani um, for believing in me. Uh, my name is Manny Barrier Bosiedema. I'm a widow. I have four beautiful children, one boy and three girls. God 
is faithful. To him be all the glory and honor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning, the topic of the message is gratitude to God. And our text is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It's a familiar scripture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. He says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus consigning you. He didn't say in path or only in good times. He says in everything. Everything means all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is gratitude? Because today is the first. There are so many people that might be thinking of, what should I be grateful for? What should I be thankful for? You know, when we say new year, new year, if you have not changed, you can't experience what the year has. You repeat it comes with you being a new you so that you can benefit and draw from the year. Because when you keep doing the same thing over and over again, there's no result. So this new year, 2023, come with a heart of gratitude. Come with a heart of thanksgiving to draw from the presence of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what is gratitude? Gratitude is thanksgiving. But not only that. Appreciation of daily happenings. Amen. Thanking God for what God has done for you. Because what you don't have now, you don't need it. Hallelujah. Because when you need it, it will come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, um, there are benefits to gratitude. Gratitude builds a stronger relationship with God. When you have a grateful heart, you build that strong relationship with God. Gratitude also brings healing. Daily thanksgiving changes your mood. Hallelujah. Because sometimes when we are not grateful, we are looking for that big thing that we want God to do. I give you an example. Maybe I'm asking God, I want to be here. Don't wait until you be here to give thanks. I was here and then I'm here. Am I still in the same place? No. I'm not in the same place. I'm not where I want to be, but I've moved. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So gratitude brings healing. Because God is in control. Hallelujah. Gratitude also moves the hands of God to do more for you. I give another example. Maybe like your child, and then you bless him or her, and then they just took the money from you and walk away. Will you be happy? No. A heart of gratitude moved the hands of God. Because that big thing that you are expecting, that you are praying for, maybe you have not gotten it. But daily, God is blessing you. Be grateful. And with that grateful heart, you move the hand of God. Because if you are grateful for the little, then God can entrust you to bless you with the bigger blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number four here, I says, gratitude multiply 
your blessings. We can see that in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 16. Jesus took the five loaves of bread and two fishes. And he blessed it. And when he blessed it, what happened? It multiplied. Hallelujah. 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 So, for example, addition is good, but multiplication is better. Amen? 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 Amen. Addition is good. So, if I stand here and say 10 plus 10 is what? And then 10 times 10. So, which one is much bigger? Hallelujah. So, when you are grateful... You multiply your blessings. Amen. Number five, gratitude is a weapon in the hand of a believer. Because sometimes the devil wants us to put us in a corner. Sometimes the devil wants to tell you, you said you're coming to church and you are going through this and you're going through that. Why do you want to be grateful when you, when you say, devil, my God is faithful. My God is good. I don't have what I was asking for, but God is blessing me. Hallelujah. God is blessing me. God is providing for me. God is making a way for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have food on the table. Maybe I don't have money to buy that expensive food or go to that expensive restaurant or get that expensive dresses. But this morning I look good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God is faithful. So when the devil wants to, you know, push you aside and Make you, have a, 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 make you have a heart that is ungrateful. You said no. That's why gratitude is a weapon in the hands of a believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is the reason why we are still here. So in this new year, have a grateful heart. There are so many testimonies. There are so many things that God has done for you and I. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? The word of God let us know in the book of Revelation. It says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimonies. Hallelujah. 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 Your testimony can be the prayer of somebody and say, Lord, if you did it for her, if you did it for him, I know you can do it for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have that job that I've been applying for, but my family and I, we are not hungry. Hallelujah. I don't have that type of car. But I have what can take me to work and bring me back. Gratitude doesn't mean that you settle for less. No, because your turn is coming. Oh, Jesus. Your turn is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you live a life of gratitude, you invite the presence of God. You invite the right spirit. You are happy. The joy of God flow from your inside. And nothing can keep you down. Not even the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalm 124. Psalm 124 verse 1 to 3. I will try to be brief today. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Psalms 
Psalm 124, verse 1 to 3. It says, if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it has not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they have swallowed up us, swallow us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Let's go to verse 6 to 8. It says, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If it has not been the Lord, where could we have been? What could we have been saying by now? But the Lord kept us. His mercies kept us. His grace kept us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we go, let's look at the dangers of ingratitude. One, ingratitude stop the blessings. An ungrateful heart stops the blessings. Number two, it disconnects you from your heavenly father. The breath of life is enough for you to be grateful. You being here, you seeing today, there are so many people that are at home that are, think, that are thinking, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have this, I don't have that. An ungrateful heart. It disconnects you from your father. I always give a, some example of your children and you. Because that's the one you can see. You are giving to your child. And no day. They, can, uh, they say thank you. It hurts, right? It hurts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ingratitude brings pain and discontentment. When someone is not grateful, they become discontent. It brings pain. Four, ingratitude invites the wrong spirit. It makes you depressed. It makes you sick because you are not grateful. Hallelujah. Ingratitude also brings jealousy, entitlement mentality. It could have been me. Why not me? But God is blessing you. You don't feel that others deserve it. You see no reason to thank God. Hallelujah. Why will a widow Stand up here and say, God is good. Why will a woman that lost her child can still stand and say, God is good? Why will a man that have an accident, that the car is total and he's alive and he can still stand and give a testimony? Of the goodness of God. Why? Because God is the reason why we have not lost all. He's in control. Your life is in his hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So in this year, 2023, come with a heart of gratitude. Come with a heart of thanksgiving. 
in your daily lives. See the good things that God is doing because it is a weapon in your hand. Now, gratitude is not complete without giving. I know we don't talk about money here, but I will say it as I hear here in my ears. Hallelujah. On the first, you come with a thanksgiving offering. Not only thanking God, we have been working. God gave us a job. We are not hungry. We open our fridge. There is food there. We open our pantry. There is food there. And then you come to the house and say, Father, thank you. We have a thanksgiving offering. Praise the Lord. Do you know that when people, it is because of ingratitude. That's why people don't pay their tithe. I know I'm going there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am going there. It is because of ingratitude. That's why people don't pay their tithe. Because what you have, it is God that gave it to you. And that which he gave to you is for you to bring 10%. And then you just grab it. This one that I've seen, just grab it to yourself. It's because of ingratitude. Now, the second thing also, when people give in the house of God, they think they are helping God or they are doing God a favor. Or they are doing the servant of God a favor. Hmm. I want to tell you this morning. That when you bless the servant of God. The blessings come to you. The servant of God is on God's payroll. So if you don't bless him. The blessing will come from another place. And they will take the blessing. That belongs to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you give in the house of God, you're not helping God. He says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So when you bless, when you give, when you bless the servant of God, the blessings come to you and your family. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today, this morning, let us live a life of gratitude. Let us live a life of thanksgiving. Let us be appreciate, appre, let us appreciate what God is doing in our life. Let us be a blessing just as you have bills in your house to pay. So it is in the house of God. Because when you pay your tithe, when you give, you rebuke God himself. We rebuke the devourer. The devourer comes in any form. Any form. It can attack your finances. When you gather money, he comes and scatter it. Hallelujah. It comes in the form of sickness. And sometimes you're expecting a promotion. You don't get it. Because the devourer can come in any form. But when you are obedient, God will fight for you. Hallelujah. When you are obedient... God will fight for you. So in this 2023 that we are in, as you put down, you know, your resolution for the year, come with a heart of thanksgiving. Be a blessing in the house of God. Remember I said when you're giving, you are not doing God a favor. You are not doing the servant of God a favor. You are not helping God. Because the help can come from another place. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in this new year, put God first. Seek the face of God. Be grateful. That's why for some of you that miss Bible studies, we are having a lot of fun with the word of God, prayers, and giving testimonies. Hallelujah. And as you give those testimonies, others are blessed. And others are encouraged. Spend time with God. Be a blessing. Husbands, appreciate your wives. Wives, appreciate your husbands. Youth, be thankful to your parents. There are so many people out there that don't have one. There are so many people out there that are crying, I wish I have a parents. Children, appreciate your parents. Daddy, I thank you. He said, what have I done? Thank you for being there for me. Thank you. Husbands, appreciate your wife. She is your beauty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Appreciate one another. It's more than money. It's more than gift. To come with a grateful heart. To be thankful. God is faithful. The life that God has given to you. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Don't take the house of God for granted. Don't take the things of God for granted. Be here. Be here. Be here. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so this morning, I just want us to thank God once again. Never be tired. Lord, give me a grateful heart. Give me a grateful heart. Help me. I don't know how, but help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Can we turn that to prayer? Father, help me. Help me. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me to have a grateful heart. Help us, oh God, to have a grateful heart. Help us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. You have been faithful, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us. Thank you, my Father. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Our Lord and our God this morning, we thank you. What a God you are. Thank you. Thank you. You are faithful. You are good. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the mercies. Thank you for the love. Lord, I thank you for your servant over this church, Pastor Joshua and the family. Thank you for the heart that you have given to him. Thank you, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for Imani family, oh God. That we will live a life of gratitude. We will live a life to seek your face. We will live a life of thanksgiving. 
Help us, oh God. Father, pour your spirit upon us, oh God. A heart of gratitude. Holy Spirit, we yield to you. We cannot do it without you. Help us, oh God. You are our very present help in terms of need. There is a purpose, oh God, for this message on this first day, on this first day of the month of January and of 2023. Now, when we are grateful, it is a code to draw from you. That when we are grateful, our blessings multiply. That when we are grateful, it moves your hand to do more. Father, help us, oh God, even for the husbands to be grateful for their wives and for the wives to be grateful to their husbands. Let them not take them for granted, oh God. Father, even for the children, help them to be grateful to their parents and unto you, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for your money. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your goodness. Even as you have crowned it this year with goodness. Blessed be your holy name. As we go, oh God, we are not going from your presence. Let your presence go with us. Holy Spirit, tabernacle in us. Glorify yourself in us. Bless us to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise and the glory. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.